I left Buddy and went over to the Kensington Ave. Store and stayed there until closing at 8 p.m. The help felt safe with me being there. Other stores on the avenue have been broken into, and one was robbed at gunpoint. I'm looking into getting a gun and a license to carry. That's another thing I won't share with Jackie. I got home the same time Jackie did after dropping Raymond off for a sleepover at Coach Manny's house. His son and Raymond are best buddies. Jackie and I got ready to go meet her friends for dinner. On the drive to the restaurant, Jackie's coaching me again on how to act. Richie, please don't say broads or use people, and don't even think about picking up the check. Wait a minute now, you think your yuppie friends will be offended if I say, use people, I got the check. Stop with that. Just because they're professionals don't make them yuppies. I got out of bed and walked over to the window. I looked out and took a deep breath. Snow covered the hotel grounds. A cool wind swept across the parking lot, blowing the snow around. It made me shiver slightly. I had a good night's sleep without any of those pestering nightmares. Hopefully I'll get through the rest of the day without any headaches. I stepped back from the chilly scene and smiled to myself while thinking, somehow, I'm still alive. Now if I play my hands right, this time, after being thrown under the bus by both political parties over the last 20 years, I just might get my monthly statement safeguard put in all these dens of inequity.